Hey guys, this is a three minute tutorial on United States patent application publication figures. We will just be talking about the figures in this video, so let me get started. This information page has a figure on it. This figure may or may not be the first figure that appears in your application. Uh, in this particular application, this was figure one, although it does not have to be. It could be figure two, three, four, ten, whatever you want it to be. Well, actually, whatever the United States Patent Trademark Office wants it to be, that's what it'll be up here. And it usually corresponds with what the USPTO deems as the most relevant to the inventive concept here. So, again, this application is relevant to walking through walls training systems so you're you know going to walk through walls using these figures in this description um, and that's what these claims were attempting to cover uh, fun fact this application is actually abandoned because lo and behold you cannot walk through walls but anyways you have your figures here uh, you want to have one inch margins to be safe although you can get away with slimmer margins on some sides uh, typically your figure label will be in the bottom center of the page but i guess they could get away with it here maybe they didn't um, but you want it to be in the bottom center of the page most times. And you can have your pages oriented vertically like this or horizontally. Um, you know, they, they're fine with either uh, landscape views or portrait views. So uh, it's your choice. So you're going to see that figures are in black and white. They typically have some sort of, you know, labeling here, whether it's numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, whether it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's kind of your call. Um, but typically you'll have some sort of label here to show what each you know, block or piece in the figure is. And so most people use numerals just because there's more numbers out there than there are letters, but you can do what you wanna do. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can basically put whatever you want in these figures. Uh, you're supposed to discuss it in the written description. You can have you know that, that picture before, you can have this uh, chart here. Um, you can have this guy doing his, uh, his turns, you know, he's about to walk through a wall. You can tell he's getting some, some momentum for that. He's got his tornado going on up here. So yeah, he's about to walk through a wall and these figures illustrate that. And then you have some more charts here. And, uh, like you said, I mean, you can illustrate people, you can illustrate, uh, statues, you can illustrate mathematical charts, you can illustrate web pages. I think that this, uh, page right here before was actually a you know flow chart page so you can have all kinds of illustrations there and then once you get to the end you know you got your little uh, banner here you know once you get to the end then that's when you transition into your written description part and here you're going to talk about each figure and so that is the figures of a united states patent application publication